So in this video, I'll show you how to wipe the cache partition of your Amazon Fire 7 or Fire HD kids version, any Fire tablet made for kids. So how does this work? It's very easy. And after doing this, if you're experiencing some lag, this should solve, this should solve your issue. So first step is to turn off your tablet. So I'll go ahead and keep press this power button one second until I get this, these options on the top, select power off and wait about uh, three minutes, uh, sorry, three seconds, not three minutes. All right, the tablet is completely shut down at this point. Go ahead and we'll need to press the power button and the volume down button. Maybe your Fire Kids tablet is different. Maybe your volume buttons are there and this power button is there. Anyway, you need to press both at the same time power and volume down until you see on the screen the Amazon logo. Once you see the Amazon logo, you can release those buttons. So let's do it together. Okay, I'm keeping press. Amazon logo, I release these buttons. Now you just have to wait and you'll get a menu appearing right on the top here. To navigate through the different options, you'll need to use volume up and volume down button. So once you press on them, you see you'll be able to navigate in this menu. What you need to select is over here, wipe cache partition. Once this is highlighted in orange, go ahead and press once on the power button to confirm. Then you need to press uh, volume up or down simply to select yes. Once it's selected, again, go ahead and press the power button once. Once you press, you're done. Over here, you're going to have a confirmation. You see cache wipe complete. To get back to your uh, normal menu, normal home screen on your Fire tablet, you need to select again with volume up and down if it's not already highlighted reboot system now so once this is highlighted i'll press once on the power button and the system will reboot come back in about two three minutes and you'll be good to go let me skip to when it's on okay so it took about two minutes in my case so if i press the power button here we go we are on the home screen and we can use the tablet and hopefully you won't have any lag so please leave a like, subscribe, comment down below if this helped you or if you found another way on how to improve the speed of this tablet. I'm really curious and uh, well, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.